G'day guys, it's um, Dr. James Simcock here from South Falls and Vet Dojo. Um, just have an interesting case I wanted to show you from today. It's a greyhound that's about nine years old um, and he's had a digit amputation with um, his regular vet um, about four or five months ago now. And he had that for a flexor tendon injury that um, was non-responsive to medical management and ultimately the amputation of the toe was performed at the level of the distal phalangeal joint and the vets have done a pretty good job with that and, and they've got the pad around here to kind of cover and try and offer some protection. The problem that the owner's having is that the dog is still very sensitive around that toe and around that digit and so what we're going to do today is an amputation a little bit higher up and I guess I thought this was an interesting case because whenever I do a digit amputation these days um, I always do the amputation through the level of the um, metatarsal phalangeal joint and the metacarpal phalangeal joint. I think they're just more comfortable when we perform the, um, the amputation through that level. And in terms of the function and, and whatever for the dog, it really doesn't make too much difference. And this was just a case that came to mind that just reminded me that sometimes when we do those low amputations, they, they can just have that residual lane. So um, the other benefit of doing an amputation higher up like that, especially if you're not sure whether the underlying disease is neoplastic or potentially infectious problems, that doing the amputation higher up the limb um, gives us a better chance of getting a, a complete margin. So that's the case we've got today. Um, hope you're all having a good day.